hi youtubers welcome to electronics to the point let us consider an example and find the gain margin and face margin so that we can understand easily the concepts of gain margin and face margin now let us consider the open loop transfer function given g of s is equal to 1 by s into 1 plus 2s into 1 plus s let us consider this is the open loop transfer function given now now what we have to do is first put s equal to j omega g of j omega is equal to 1 by j omega 1 plus 2 j omega 1 plus j omega okay what we have to do first we are calculating the gain margin to get the gain margin kg that is the gain margin what we have to do is first we have to find the phase crossover frequency that is omega pc first we are finding the phase crossover frequency omega pc how do we get phase crossover frequency by by substituting the angle of g of j omega is equal to minus 180 degrees as i have said in my previous video angle of g of j omega wherever it is cutting the negative real axis it gives the omega pc so what we have to do angle of g of j omega is equal to minus 180 degrees this is the required condition to obtain omega pc that is phase crossover frequency so angle and see this g of g omega g omega is in denominator so when it goes up minus 90 degrees minus tan inverse of 2 omega by 1 minus tan inverse of omega by 1 okay tan inverse of b by a 2 omega by 1 is equal to minus 180 degrees what we have obtained send this tan inverse to this side tan inverse of 2 omega plus tan inverse of omega is equal to plus 90 degrees now what we do is apply tan on both sides that is tan of tan inverse of 2 omega plus tan inverse of omega is equal to tan 90 what is this tan a tan b tan of a plus b tan of a plus b is equal to tan a tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b so from this what we get tan of tan inverse of 2 omega plus tan of tan inverse of omega by 1 minus tan of tan inverse of 2 omega into tan of tan inverse of omega is equal to tan 90 is infinity what we can write infinity 1 by 0 right now tan of tan inverse tan tan inverse get cancelled so we get 2 omega plus omega by 1 minus 2 omega square is equal to 1 by 0 compare these denominators 1 minus 2 omega square equal to 0 2 omega square is equal to 1 omega is equal to 1 by root 2 that is omega pc is equal to 0 0.707 we obtained the phase crossover frequency now we have to substitute this phase crossover frequency in gain margin equation what is the gain margin equation kg is equal to 1 by ga that is 1 by modulus of g of j, uh, j omega at omega equal to omega pc this gives the phase margin so substitute this value in it kg is equal to 1 by modulus of g of j omega what do we get see modulus of g of j omega is equal to 
by uh, by doing the multiplications we get 1 by minus of 3 omega square plus j omega into 1 minus 2 omega square this is the modulus value now we have to substitute this omega equal to 1 by root 2 in this magnitude value then we will get modulus of g of j omega at omega equal to omega pc please guys you substitute to yourself omega pc equal to 1 by root 2 put this value in this so we will get kg gain margin is equal to 1.5 now uh, let us convert this to decibels in db gain margin kg is equal to 20 log 1.5 we get 3.5 db okay this is how we calculate the gain margin now let us calculate the phase margin for the transfer function phase margin for g of s is equal to 1 by s into 1 plus 2s into 1 plus s for this transfer function we have to calculate the phase margin to calculate the phase margin what we have to do first we have to obtain the gain crossover frequency that is omega gc see how to get a gain crossover frequency by putting the magnitude of g of s is equal to unity see by substituting g of j omega is equal to 1 by substituting in this equation we will get omega gc gain crossover frequency now modulus of g of j omega is equal to 1 by omega under root 1 plus 2 omega whole square into under root 1 plus omega square this is the modulus value now we have to equalize to 1 is equal to 1 now see by multiplying this and obtaining this will be the radius work so what we do is we go for trial and error method so what we do is we put some assumed value so that we compare this obtained result is equal to 1 if we, if the obtained value is nearer to 1 then we will consider the omega gc or else for small transfer functions of our uh, second order transfer function we can easily calculate by putting modulus of g omega j is equal to is equal to 1 see by trialing error method i am considering let us put omega is equal to 1 if i put omega is equal to 1 g of j omega is equal to 1 by 1 into under root 1 plus 4 under root 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 i am comparing this to is equal to 1 now what is this what will be this value by calculating i got 0 0.3 this nowhere near to 1 so what i am doing for omega equal to 1 i am getting 0 0.3 let us consider omega is equal to 0 0.5 g of j omega we put omega equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 into under root 1 plus 2 into 0 0.5 is nothing but 1 by 2 whole square into under root 1 plus 0 0.5 square calculating i'm getting 1.26 so this is greater than 1 so there is uh, answer in between 0 0.5 and 1 so let me guess omega is equal to 0 0.57 something 0 0.57 now substitute this in g of j omega 1 by 0 0.57 under root 1 plus 0 0.57 into 2 whole square under root 1 plus 0 0.57 whole square by calculating this i got something around 1.0037 something this is similar equal to 1 so 
I am considering gain crossover omega GC is equal to 0 0.57 now I got gain crossover frequency now what I have to do to obtain phase margin first I have to calculate the phase it gain crossover frequency that is phi GC is equal to C from this transfer function let us obtain the angle put S equal to J omega so when this comes up minus 90 degrees minus tan inverse of 2 omega minus tan inverse of omega I will put the value of 0 0.57 in this omega value minus 90 degrees minus tan inverse of 2 into 0 0.57 minus tan inverse of 0 0.57 5 gc uh, I am getting minus 168 degrees I am getting now to get phase margin that is gamma is equal to 180 degrees plus 5 gc so I will substitute minus 168 in this 180 degrees minus 168 is equal to I got 12 degrees see from gain margin I got the positive gain margin and the positive phase margin angle so from this I can say that this open loop systems has the conditions are satisfied so I can say closed loop system is stable thank you guys you know your one click on my subscribe button means a lot to me Please subscribe. Thank you.